what to do if you rip up a check okay so i don't know if this ever happens to you but it happened to me right went to a dealer sold my car and i got a credit of seven thousand dollars right seven thousand seven hundred and change and then i you know was up late night before and then haggling with the dealer so i came up tired with the check and i'm like you know i'm going to deposit tomorrow you know go to the bank of america cash it tomorrow and up and running so while i was at the dealer i cleared out the car and took out all my old papers and stuff like that you know and then i was going through the papers and tear them up and accidentally ripped the check in half check rip up in half Oh my gosh, the seven thousand dollar check gone. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? So my wife and I thought of what to do. Tape. And we taped it. You can't carry it to the bank, but we tape it. And the trick is to line up all the numbers to make sure it's lined up. And you can't carry it to the bank, see? All the numbers. If you rip it up bad, then you might be out of luck. But it was just one rip. Line up the numbers and then do a mobile deposit. Yes. Just scan it in. Well, it doesn't look good right now because it's been around the block. But when I did the mobile deposit, it looked real good. And once, what you need to do is make out the numbers. Right? Make out the numbers. So you see the 8 there was ripped in half. So you see you can make out the eight now, right? Anyway, deposited, check clear, everything good. Remember to sign it and if your bank has that thing um to for a mobile deposit to Chase or Wells Fargo or whatever, remember to put that on there. I redacted most of the check because I don't want you guys to see where I got it from or whatever. So that's it. Make sure that you line up the numbers properly and you're good to go.